Do not lose the key of knowledge. Inviting you to spend your five minutes and listening, meditating, and praying on the Word of God as you begin your day. Blessing and peace to you and all your family members. May the Lord Jesus bless you with love and peace. October 13th, 2022, Thursday, 28th week of the Ordinary Time. Prepare your minds and hearts as you listen to the Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh my God and King, I beg you to grant me the grace during this time of meditation that all my intentions actions and operations may be directed purely to the praise and service of your divine majesty amen a reading from the gospel according to saint luke chapter 11 verses 47 to 54 Woe to you, for you build the tombs of the prophets, whom your fathers killed. So you are witnesses and consent to the deeds of your fathers. For they killed them, and you build their tombs. Therefore also the wisdom of God said, I will send them prophets and apostles, some of whom they will kill and persecute, that the blood of all the prophets shed from the foundation of the world may be required of this generation from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah who perished between the altar and the sanctuary yes I tell you it shall be required of this generation woe to you lawyers for you have taken away the key of knowledge you did not enter yourselves and you hindered those who were entering. As he went away from there, the scribes and the Pharisees began to press him hard and to provoke him to speak of many things, lying in wait for him, to catch at something he might say. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray and meditate on this Gospel passage. How can God's wisdom free us from being double-minded and spiritually blind? God sent His prophets to open the ears of His people, to hear and understand God's word and intention for their lives. God's wisdom is personified in the voice of the prophets, a voice that often brought rejection and death because they spoke for God rather than for human favor and approval. Jesus chastised many of the religious leaders of his day for being double-minded and for demanding from others standards which they refused to satisfy. They professed admiration for the prophets from the past by building their tombs, while at the same time they opposed the message that the prophets spoke in God's name. They rejected the prophet's warnings and closed their ears to the word of God. Humility helps us to be receptive to God's wisdom. Only the humble of heart, those who thirst for God and acknowledge his word is true, can truly understand the wisdom which comes from above. I have more understanding than all my teachers. For your testimonies are my meditation. God is ever ready to speak His word to us and to give us true wisdom and understanding. Do you hunger for the wisdom which comes from above? Let us pause to pray silently and ask the Lord Jesus to bless you with all the graces you need for today.
prayer, Lord Jesus. May your word take root in my heart and transform all my thoughts and actions. Give me wisdom and understanding that I may know your will for my life and have the courage to live according to it. Amen.